Okay, good morning. 7 a.m. Slight drizzle. Left on University Drive Route 1226 West. Greensboro, North Carolina. Back on the road. Kevin. Good morning, dear. <laughs> good morning, everybody. Welcome to the joy of trucking. Joy, joy. Joy, joy. No, I haven't had my coffee yet. <laughs> hey, so good morning. It's my first morning back out with you after sleeping on the truck and surprisingly despite all the noise and the fact that we were at an angle I had an okay sleep uh, so where are we going what's the deal for today we're gonna go pick up our load we got our empty trailer last night it's a live load so they'll probably load this here trailer and we were at a rest stop about 12 miles east of the city and we gotta go into the city
careful. We want to be sure to see if it's distributed evenly. The weight is correct. Kevin has some stories about that. I think uh, I've been encouraging him to make a video about it, so hopefully we'll get that done for you. All right, here we go. Pull it onto the scale. Yeah. 
Let's go. Hey, here's Tanya with her new raincoat in the rain, taking it for a test drive. And two big coffees. Yeah. To keep her warm. Yeah. Loving my new raincoat. Look, it's all the way to here. Uh huh. Dry everywhere. Uh huh. Uh huh. And the big hood has, yeah, like a porch roof. Right. You're ready to go lobster fishing. Yeah. Let's go find some lobster in Illinois. Okay. What? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What? It'll still be all right. I've only got 30,800 on the tractor, 34,500. I really only have to move about 540 pounds. So I'll go two or three holes, make sure I get, I get that. And then I'll also check this gauge again, just to make sure it doesn't go over 60. That, that would mean I've probably gone too far. I put too much weight on the tractor. Virginia. 
this is Virginia. Uh, the Welcome Center is a mile away. So we just left North Carolina and we'll go through Virginia for a short little uh, ride and then into West Virginia, up and down some scary mountains with this very heavy load, and through Charleston, West Virginia, and on into Ohio. And then our next stop will be in Ohio. We'll take a break there. And now we are on? This is I-77, which goes all the way up into Charleston, West Virginia.
that? Yeah. So he can traipse around on the back 40. Yeah, and that's his gonna be his new ATV. And <laughs> then the best thing about it is, after you're done with it, you can use it as a lawn ornament. There you go. Your lucky white t-shirt. Nope. Well, like That's the problem. 
All right, well, I think maybe they just want to make it worth your while because you weighed. Or maybe they were spying on you and they know you weighed. Now they want to see if it really uh, was corrected. They want to make you feel like you didn't waste your time with the weighing and moving your tandems today. So, wow, we. I don't recall times I've been on the truck with you, you never had to go to two way stations in a row. It's really rare that you get pulled over for a way station. Maybe Werner didn't pay their, uh... <laughs> pay off the, their officials? <laughs> you have to bribe the guy in Virginia. What? what? That transponder isn't working, Werner. What's going on? Why are we getting the red light on our little transponder? joking people he's just kidding oh oh he's not kidding what now we don't know where reality is okay let's see here we go again two-way speaker release brakes on scales license plate reader in use
signs along the highway. So the first sign said, way station closed. And so he pulled out to pass a car. The second sign said, way station open. And he was next to the car. So by the time he pulled back in front of the car, he was passed. And the cop chased him. And the cop pulled him over. And the cop said, why didn't you pull into the scale? And he said, because the sign said, the scales are closed. So I pulled out to pass somebody. And the cop said, they're not closed, they're open. And he, the driver insisted, the sign says they were closed. So the cop said, you wait here. And he did. And the cop had to go up to the next exit, turn around, go back to the other exit, turn around, drive past the station again. And he saw that the sign said they were closed. So my trainer didn't get a ticket. Good thing the cop went and checked, because the cop would have said, oh no, you're lying, and he would have just wrote the ticket, right? Uh-huh. So. Uh-huh. I know another story. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I know a certain driver that was uh, driving along, and there were not a lot of signs, or there were no signs saying anything about the upcoming way station, and that particular driver had never been there before. And then that particular driver was busy passing somebody and uh, then suddenly up along the side of the highway there was a little elevated road with a lot of trucks on it and uh, turned out that was a way station but at that point there's nothing the driver could do so the driver continued on praying fingers crossed and uh, there was apparently some uh, nervous energy for a while, but it ended well. That's the story I know. Do you know that story? No, I'm not sure what you're talking about. Wow. 
let's see what's going on here. Whoa, look at all the trucks along here. Different things. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, 
But look, here comes a boat. There's got to be a river somewhere.
was the other side of the mountain, the other <laughs> side of the mountain. So you're like, yeah, I just want to see what's around the next curve. You know what's around the next curve? Another mountain. Another curve. <laughs> you just keep coming. Uh, don't worry about it. There's plenty more. No suspense there at all now. in the rain. I have my raincoat up there. Yes. Look. Beautiful. Mist in the mountain. Oh, and what's that nice blue truck there? What is oh. that? Oh, is that Kenny Riggs? Kenny Riggs. Right here in West Virginia. Had a little rest stop. Uh, Kevin was patient enough to let me browse the store. Mm -hmm. That was fun. Gift shop. Did you know Fiesta Wares seems to be from here? Because they have a lot of... Um, the pot, uh, pottery stuff, what's the stuff in the kitchen? <laughs> dishware! Yeah, what's the word I'm looking for? Yeah, yes, the dishware. Dishware. Alright, back on the truck. Alrighty, hill. Five percent grade, next two miles.
surroundings, not bad. Nice little rest. Uh, yeah, I think, uh, so we were down for an hour, and so far we've only made it about 300 more feet. <laughs> Maybe that's, that's all they were gonna let through? I hope not. That wasn't even worth waking Kevin up from his nap.
you, Ohio. That is so nice of you. Aww. What I want to know is who put it here? <laughs> who, who put I've been looking for it everywhere. <laughs> well, you'll find it here. It's a promise. I didn't put it here. day stretched out here in the bunk had a good ride today uh, as you saw in the video we got onto US 35 in West Virginia follow that up into Ohio it becomes four lanes divided smooth pavement beautiful countryside it did rain the rest of the day but but I really like that stretch of road the traffic's always light it's, it's really nice uh, wound up here in Jeffersonville Ohio uh, and we're at a loves so we got to have a shower tonight we're snuggled in here with a bunch of other trucks we're just east of dayton ohio so tomorrow morning we'll pick up again and and finish this run up to chicago through dayton and indianapolis started in greensboro north we carolina started in this morning greensboro north carolina this morning so mm -hmm. yeah we had a good day uh it was raining but you know we didn't we didn't really have to deal with a lot of rain all summer so it's in a way, it was kind of nice, different, you know, and the mist in the mountains yeah, as we're coming beautiful. through the Appalachians is really, beautiful. really cool. Yeah. Yeah. So I think the, it was a good day. The traffic jam was kind of, you know, a hassle, yeah. but you did have a good nap. Yeah, it, it is what it is. You're, you know, it's not going to be perfect rolling along all the time. Yeah. You know, just be patient. It'll, it'll eventually get through. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks for joining us. And uh, we hope you enjoyed this day driving with us. Right. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up yep. and put your comments and questions below. Hello. And uh, what else? Oh, hey, subscribe to our channel, subscribe. please. That would be great. Yeah. And hit the notification bell so you always know when we put up new videos. And with that, we wish you a good day with love from Kevin and Tanya. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.